My wife was on a school trip uh, talking to a parent and we heard about a student here at the school. She was eating her sandwich and turned to a friend and said, I'm going to take half of this home so I can share it with my family tonight for dinner. When my wife came home from that school trip and shared that story with me, I was just beside myself. The news shocked Andrew Niebler. And that's when my personal mission became to have a food pantry here at, at the school. You know, it's so close to Bethesda that I think people just feel like it's one of those middle schools in a, you know, a wealthy or, you know, upper middle class neighborhood. And I don't think they realize how many kids that we have that are on um, farms, which is the free and reduced meals. Jack, lay la figura, por favor, a la clase. Roughly 75% of Westland Middle fits the stereotype. Middle class students from families that experience none of what is now termed food insecurity. And those in need came as no surprise to Westland. It had already begun a program called Westland Cares. It started as an idea to bring, uh, have a holiday, Thanksgiving holiday food drive, basically. But Niebler and his team began thinking, what else? So Westland Cares appealed to the PTA, which funded $50 holiday gift buying cards. And Westland started a book fair, which proved hugely popular. Along with magazines, superstars, and heartthrobs, it features a variety of books and gift certificates readily doled out for freebies. But going hungry would not go away. One day, we were trying to gather the kids because it was a short Friday, half day, and one of the kids we couldn't find, and she came up to me, Mrs. Pelter, I didn't get my bag to go home, and she was crying. You know, it's hard to be a kid in a school like this where kids are wearing Uggs and so forth, and you're trying to figure out where to get your next meal. Niebler knew he needed more than a one-time food drive. I began researching it, I went online. There's a lot of different models of food pantries, but I realized what could work here at Westland is that we could really have a community that uh, sustains a food pantry through donations. The uh, shelves are stocked with uh, uh, food that the students have asked for. We took an old dusty closet, cleaned it out. Uh, we have a, a bunch of shelving in there, and um, uh, we have a dedicated uh, group of uh, staff here. The kids know what they need at home. They're, they, with the advice of their parents, they, they know what's uh, necessary, and they can load up their bags and, and uh, leave the pantry with what they need. I'm in office, do you copy? The principal. I'm going to be in the courtyard for a couple minutes if anyone needs me. The PTA. Thank you. And the Westland community know Andrew Niebler is special. So as a PTA, obviously, we're only ever as successful as the volunteers that we have. One parent can really make a difference. Um, and Andrew saw a need within our school community and came to us and said, you know, here's what I see the problem is and here's what I'd like to do to solve it. Parents see different projects that they can identify with and they don't have to give a year-long commitment. They can get active in a particular time of year, back out and then come back in again. I am an eighth grader at Westland. And then there's this. I wanted to let you know that he influenced my life a lot and I really wanted to thank him for starting this wonderful program. My family has greatly benefited from the Westland Market, the gift cards, and the Holiday House. These programs have really helped me and my family go through the hard times. 